This video is about why I wear mala beads. So if you've watched any of my past videos, you can see that in, in most of them, I'm usually wearing these beads. And in this one, I'm, I've got all of them on because that's the topic of this video. And uh, if, you're, if you're into any um, Buddhist or Hindu teachings, you probably know what these are. But if you don't, uh, what they're known as is mala beads or uh, meditation or prayer beads. And uh, they're commonly used in association with meditating in Buddhist and Hindu uh, practices. And I've, I've, I've got a few different reasons as to why I wear them and why I wear the certain types that I wear. But uh, first I want to talk about um, which ones I have and why I have as many as I do. So this one right here is called, it, it's, it's strung out of Rudraksha seeds, which is a plant that grows in India that um, was one of the first original um, things that was used to, to string mala beads together. The other being sandalwood, which is what this one and these bracelets are made out of. But if you see here, I don't know if it'll show it too well, but you can see they're, they're like these perforated seeds, like, like the pits of the um, berries or whatever it grew. And I like these ones because the way, the way each, each seed feels, it feels really, uh, just the texture of it is very cool to me, fascinating. And... Um, I like this just because of the size of it, how long it is to it. And uh, these ones are, like I said, um, sandalwood. And both these ones right here are 108 beads, which is the uh, typical amount that is used in the, the mantra meditation with the malas. And that's actually why I have four of these bracelets because each one has 27 beads. I counted it when I was buying them and I was like, oh wait, 27 times four is 108. So I bought four of them and that's why I have uh, four individual sets. But now I wanna talk about the exact uh, kind of reasoning behind these mala beads. So I first started getting into them when I was practicing Buddhism, when I began practicing Buddhism because a part of me felt like it was necessary to own them, obviously, you know. You're, you're practicing Buddhism, you should, have, you should have some malas, right? But it took a while for them to actually gain some significance in my life. And uh, when, when, it, when it really did gain some significance and reasoning was during my um, LSD ego death experience where just... I have a video that I posted on it where just my sense of self was completely wrecked and everything I thought I was and every spiritual aspect I thought I had built up and gained was just an illusion that I was creating within my mind and it really, really, really shook me at first. And um, it was actually the morning after where uh, the reason I would wear these malas is well, prior to that experience, I would wear them because I would look at them and I would go, oh, return to the moment. I would see them and think, return to the moment, right? Be here now. And um, I, would kinda, I would kind of think, well, the, experience, the ego death experience I had really, really stimulated that who am I thing. Who am I? And the next morning, I was holding these malas and... I was, I was going like this with them, and I asked, I thought again, who am I? And out of nowhere, out of nowhere, um, almost like these were telling me it, I am the one asking this question. You are the one asking this question right now. That was the response to, in my mind to me saying, who am I? You will, of course, you are the one asking the question. And it just made me realize that you are already who you're trying to find, so what's the point in asking, you know? You're not, there's not something out there that you're going to find 
that is you. You are already who you who you are, you know? And that's what these make me remember and make me think of. So every time I see them or feel them, I I remember that the little questioner up here that asks those questions is the experiencer is already the experiencer that it's trying to find out about you know what I mean but that's my uh, reasoning as to why I wear these beads I love them I love feeling them they actually smell cool sandalwood holds the smell like incense in a, in a way that other uh, tree barks don't which is really cool but yeah, that's all I got for this video. I just wanted to share why I wear these because you may see them in a bunch of to come videos. So that's it for this one and I'll be back later.